In this video, I'd like to introduce you to my notion of the pineal pituitary axis, kind of the, the tracking between the pineal and the pituitary glands that one could potentially even feel inside your brain if you paid attention to it. I'd like to do so with laboratory footage because I feel like that's the best way to anchor it. But I'd like to invite you also to then appreciation for our beautiful donor, Grandma Fenn, who made it possible for us to study the pineal pituitary axis in situ. So without further ado, I'll share that footage with you now. So we have an amazing cross section of our beautiful uh, our, do our donor form here. And you can see the front of the skull with the frontal sinus and the, the nose and the nasal conch and the skull, and the beautiful tree of life here, the cross-sectioned cerebellum with its fourth ventricle here. And we can follow that fourth ventricle all the way up through the aqueduct, whoops, into the, into the third ventricle here. And what sits at the back of the third ventricle but the pineal gland? And we've highlighted it in yellow so you can't miss it, <laughs> the, the beautiful pineal gland. And if we arc forward from the pineal gland through, through the brain tissue here, through the midbrain is what we call this, we'll see our mammillary body. We paint that green just so you can see it super clearly. And this blue is the cross section of the optic chiasma. X marks the spot over the cella turcica in which sits the pituitary gland, which we painted red. And we even have the stem or infundibulum of the pituitary gland kind of arcing back into the brain tissue here underneath this cut optic chiasma. So you can see the, I'm gonna make that optic chiasma wiggle a little bit and you can see the infundibulum is connected to it, right? It's kind of dancing along with it. So you can see the relationships of the hypophysis and the epiphysis, uh, right? So the epi meaning uh, upon and under. So in relationship to the middle, this one is low and this one is high. This is our pituitary, this is our pineal. And our pineal is straight down from the crown of the head here. And the pituitary gland is kind of back from the bridge of the nose. So you can see that the pineal gland is maybe an inch, maybe an inch higher, and maybe two inches back. So if we're trying to kind of geolocate these tissues inside our own head, I'm hoping this will be helpful to you in doing so. We can also see here that we're inside, right, of kind of the sac in which the cerebellum lives and we can see this kind of a pocket here behind the pineal gland so we're going to have cerebral spinal fluid flowing all around here in the front of the pineal in the back of the pineal through the pathway here called the interventricular foramen into the lateral ventricle here hiding behind the septum pellucidum with this beautiful corpus uh, colossum here. So thank you so much to our beautiful donor and the team that worked so hard this week to dissect her gift so that we could all learn. And this is kind of a exciting finale to our experience. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to study more with me, go to gilheadley.com. There's a ton of stuff there. Enjoy.